Hello, everyone. Today we're going to do something we haven't done before. Uh, it's Arlington versus Alexandria. So these two A cities are inside the Beltway. And I've done quite a few videos on both Alexandria and Arlington, but never actually in the same video. So how are these two places similar? How do they differ? And which one would be better for you, Arlington or the city of Alexandria in Virginia? I'm Melissa Terzis, DC Real Estate Mama. Who are you? Who are you? Leah. Leah. All right, Leah. Arlington, Virginia is a county. It is also the mailing address for everyone living in Arlington, which is something that we don't usually see in the country, right? Like you don't live in a county, that's also just your city state mailing address. Arlington is comprised of dozens of neighborhoods. The city of Alexandria has also about a dozen neighborhoods. We're gonna have some fun with this today as well. So stay tuned for the where would this celebrity live part of the show today. Leah's gonna help with that. All right, Arlington versus Alexandria. Let's talk about the location first. So these two areas share a similar location. They are both inside the Beltway. They are both easily commutable to downtown DC as well as many businesses in the rest of Northern Virginia. Both also start with an A and that's almost where their similarities end. Both areas offer a lifestyle and a vibe that I feel is like completely different from the other. So let's dive into vibe. Arlington has sort of two personalities in a way because North Arlington is different than South Arlington. North Arlington is a combination of residential with most homes in the northern part of North Arlington are like over a million dollars. Uh, there is a retail corridor with shops like Sephora, Container Store. You like that that area. That's where we go where Colony Grill is. Mm -hmm. And you like running around there. Uh, and then uh, Pottery Barn, Apple, Crate and Barrel. This retail area follows through neighborhoods. It starts like in Roslyn. It goes through Courthouse, Clarendon, Ballston. And this essentially runs east-west along the southernmost portion portion of North Arlington. Now, key to this area is the metro accessibility, which runs along the same corridor through these North Arlington neighborhoods in the southern edge of North Arlington. I know that's a little confusing. That's why we're going to put a map up so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, Route 50 is the Arlington dividing line. South Arlington is geographically much smaller compared to North Arlington, but within itself, it has very diverse vibes. You're going to find quieter residential neighborhoods like Barcroft and Glen Carlin, and then you're going to find what's basically turning into a city before our eyes over on Route 1, which is in Crystal City, and they're calling that National Landing. This is where Amazon's HQ2 is going. Also in South Arlington is Sherlington, which has its own little downtown and a very similar feel to Clarendon, uh, like Clarendon does in North Arlington. So South Arlington might be small, but there's a lot happening there and packs a lot of punch in a small area. Now, the city of Alexandria has many residential neighborhoods with great community feel. There is the charm of Old Town with its brick sidewalks and tons of outdoor dining on the Potomac River. Del Rey is a very popular neighborhood in Alexandria as well, where you will find a ton of mom and pop shops, not a chain to be found in Del Rey, and a down to earth feel. Alexandria feels easygoing and less rat racy compared to the movers and shakers in Arlington. This is my opinion, though. It's not fact. So, like, don't come for me if you don't agree. All right. Next up, let's talk about Arlington and Alexandria, which has better schools. So there's a simple answer to this one. Nobody ever says I'm going to move to the city of Alexandria because of the school system. So the school system there is notoriously overcrowded and it has had problems in recent years with um, some pretty abysmal uh, tries at leadership that have happened there. Compare that to Arlington, which offers three high schools. Two are in North Arlington and one in South Arlington. If you are going to look strictly at school scores, the two high schools in North Arlington, which are Yorktown and Washington Liberty, score higher than the high school that serves South Arlington, which is Wakefield. But what's important to know here is that the student population of Wakefield basically is almost 50% of the students with English as their second language. And so this alone is going to impact the school scores tremendously. Now, I have videos on Arlington and Alexandria focusing uh, specifically on the schools should you want to dive deeper. 
So Arlington or Alexandria, which one's better for families if you got a little one like this? Keep in mind your need for schools. I have had many clients with families choose Alexandria because they actually plan to either enroll in private schools or do the homeschooling thing. Um, I've also had clients who spend their years pre-child in Alexandria and then when the kiddos come, they don't want to leave because it's just got like that great of a lifestyle. Uh, both Arlington and Alexandria have parks, green space, and appeal for families. Alexandria offers more than 900 acres of parks, a variety of neighborhood and rec centers, pools, dog parks, farmer's markets. I'm going to link to the waterfront activities within the blog that I post, um, as well as try to get it into the YouTube description. Arlington boasts that anyone in the county is within a 10 minute walk to a park. Now their parks and recreation program is actually outstanding. I feel it's more robust than Alexandria, but if parks and rec is your thing, definitely review the program offerings in more detail. I'm going to link both websites as well, like I said, into the blog post. Now, Arlington and Alexandria, which has better food options? So this one's a tie. Um, both Arlington and Alexandria have every grocery store you could ever want, as well as a wide variety of ethnic restaurants and highly rated eateries. Here's the best news. You're actually truly only a short drive from either area in Arlington or the city of Alexandria. So getting to from one to the other is like for a favorite restaurant or something that you want to try is super easy and doesn't take long. All right, Leah, it's game time. You ready for game time? All right, we're gonna make this fun. So we're gonna play this game called Where Would the Celebrity Live? Leah is going to give me the name of a celebrity and I am going to tell you where, based on what we know about them, where I think that they would live. All right, Leah? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie would live in Arlington. Uh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt would live in Alexandria. That's why they didn't stay together, I bet. The big one, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Arlington. Okay, how about Travis Kelsey? Alexandria. He seems more like low-key and down-to-earth and football. like easygoing. Football. All right. But they don't have football there, but that's okay. All right, who else you got for me? Amber Heard. Amber Heard, Arlington. Johnny Depp. Alexandria. He's easygoing. Jeff Bezos. Well, he's going to be in Arlington because Amazon is there. How about Dua Lipa? I think Dua Lipa's going to be in Arlington. And Britney Spears? She's from the South. I think she's easygoing. She's going to want Alexandria. All right, Arlington. Arlington feels like it is movers and shakers. It's the get things done kind of people. Alexandria feels a little bit less business, a little bit more fun, a little bit more like vacation-y kind of lifestyle when you're on the water and having a drink or, you know, whatever you're you're doing um, when it, the weather is so nice. So I hope that this helps you figure out the differences between the two. One final note, both may start with an A, and I promise you both are A-plus places to live in the D.C. metro area. So I'm Melissa. This is Leah. My contact info is coming next. Her contact info is not coming next because nobody wants to contact her. Only watch these videos.